On today's ride, I start in the mist, finish in the rain, I continue to power up the climbs, enjoying some incredible views on the way. The mist and the clouds are starting to roll round the mountains this morning. Very close. Oh, and it's just starting to rain. This could be a wet one. I've just spent a couple of nights in Pai and it, it barely scratches the surface to really understand what the place is about. But I had a great time and I enjoyed it. I can see why people would want to come here for a getaway for a few days, weeks, months, or even make their lives here. It's got a great feel to it. Now, I understand that it's an unusual position because normally there'd be a lot more people here, but because of the closure of the international borders, that's not the case. So in some ways, I could be seeing Pi through how it used to be 30, 40 years ago. If I like it when it's hustling, bustling full of people, I don't really know, maybe I won't, but I do want to come back, that's for sure. I'm absolutely determined this won't be the last time that I come to Pi, and if you have the time, honestly, come up here, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the surrounding area, and I love this little town as well. I might come here and do the whole Mehong Song loop in a car, bring my adventure bike and get to the more difficult to reach places on a day-to-day -day basis, who knows? But I've made a pact with myself. I'm coming back. I'm coming up to the base of the climb, which is a 17 kilometre, 880 metre climb. I need to get water. There should be somewhere here very, very shortly within the next kilometer. That's what it showed on the map. And I really need to get water before I start this climb. I've got some, but I just need to top it up really. I'm 200 meters from the base of this climb. I've got a couple of liters of water and uh, I'm well hydrated, but I think I'm gonna need about four liters. I think two liters it just won't be enough. I'm hoping there's going to be something very, very soon. Otherwise I could get into some difficulty towards the top. Found this little shop, a couple of kilometers into the climb, so I'm good to go now. Got some water. Top tip is don't forget to look back and take in the view. What kind of gradient is that road there? You need a lift to get up that. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. That must be 30%. That's insane. Settlement down in the valley there. Looks like it belongs to something from 50 years ago. the climbing all with water. It's 10.30 in the morning, I'm an hour and a half into this climb. I don't mind telling you I'm tired already. Yeah, it's taken it out of me today. I think that day's rest sort of threw my mojo a little bit. And uh, it's been tougher today than before I took the day off. Coming up the uh, first part of the climb, there's thick forests either side of the road, and I, I just got bitten to shreds. I'm presuming the mosquitoes, and there's also something like a fly on my arm. And my back was so itchy, oh dear me. Yeah, that really didn't help. So I'm sat on the wall now, taking a rest. Um, uh, yeah, regrouping just get up the rest of this climb today. The only positive at the moment is that the um, temperature is quite low, 27 degrees, uh, and you can see there's a mist coming up on the mountains, so that could cool things down 
even more. <laughs> I just feel tired. I really do. Today's ride is going to take me from Pai to Sapong, which is about halfway between Pai and uh, Hong Song. The ride's too far to do in one day. It is for me anyway. It's about 110 kilometres, but there's two and a half thousand metres of climbing. That's just too much. I don't think I'm strong enough to do that. So I've separated the ride into two. This first section, it's only 45 kilometres long, um, <laughs> but it's got this uh, close on to a thousand metres climb to contend with. That really will be enough for one day. 8% uh, at the moment, and it's going to kick up to uh, the highest gradient quite soon. I'm not sure what that is. I think it could be 15, 16, even 17%, and that might mean it's the first time I'll have to actually push. I know it's coming soon. Time for a sit down and a bit of a break. This is a climbing graph. The green shows the easy sections, then yellow, orange, red, dark red. So I'm coming to dark red for the very first time. That looks like you're cycling up a cliff face to me. That's my thousand metres of climbing done. Now let's go and take a look at the view. And here's the view from the other side of the road. shabby either. But you can see the switchbacks that I've got to look forward to when I go down the mountain. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's probably no surprise when I tell you I'm pretty tired now. Four hours of climbing, thousand meters. Um, the interesting thing about these climbs is there just doesn't seem to be anywhere and I mean anywhere at all where you can get water, food, coffee, nothing. And uh, that was the case with this climb today. Luckily, right at the foot of the climb, there was a small shop I could stock up on water. Uh, I had about four litres in total. I've got one bottle left. Um, but if I hadn't have stocked up on water there, I'd have run out for sure. I got a load of bananas, some crisps with me. That, that, that was enough and I'd had quite a big breakfast. But really, the top tip today is that when you come up here and you're doing the Maersong loop, just make sure before you set off you have enough water you have enough food to do the entire climb because even if there's places on the map that say there's a small shop uh, a cafe restaurant they could well be closed um, so yeah it's worth bearing in mind stock up make sure you have everything you need before you set off Dear biking accident there. Tonight I'm staying in the jungle guest house in Sapong, 560 baht, which is $18. It's 
It's like a traditional Thai hut, which I really like. Lovely gardens, nice views. Can't really fault this. Pretty basic inside. There's no aircon, no fridge, but I don't mind. Bathroom's really nice and clean. The staff are so friendly here, they're really nice. So yeah, this would be very pleasant for an evening. Uh, yeah, it's just three o'clock. I'm going to enjoy a few hours in this really pleasant little town.